Hey everybody, in today's video I'm going to go over how to replace null values in Power Query with the average. So when you're doing data analysis and you've got a data set, you know, there, there can be instances when you know you're, you're missing data and you're not sure how to best replace it. Like in this example, my, my price field has numerous null values in it. So what you may be tempted to do is just say, okay, we're just going to remove those, those records entirely. But then the problem is now you're you're losing all this other useful uh, data along with it. Another option could be just replace these values with the zeros, but you know that may impact your other calculations, especially if you're using the price or if you're doing any sort of averages, computations on that. So the next best option may be to use an average price and just to populate these null values with averages, replace them with the averages for that column. So I'm going to show you how we can do that. So for starters, we need to calculate the average of the price column, or the price field. So I'm going to select it, this entire column here, and under the Transform tab, I'm going to select Statistics, and I'm going to select Average. Now you could also use a median if you prefer, um, but in this example, I'm going to use Average. The, the process is going to be the same. So now once I've done it, Power Query has created another step, and it's told me the, the average, average price. Now it's created a new step called calculated average. I'm going to rename this step and just call it average price. Just so it's easier to reference later on. I'm going to go back to the first step. And now what I'm going to do is select this price, price column, right click, replace values. And it's going to ask me if I want to insert a step. I'll select insert. And the value to find, I'm looking for the null value. And I'm going to replace it with a 1 for now. I'm going to hit OK. Just so it replaces that, uh, those values with a 1. And the reason I did that was I just wanted it to, to generate that formula for me. And so I can just go in here and just easily change this 1 to say average price. Which is the step that I reference here. Now the problem with this is it's going to tell me that's a cyclical reference. Because obviously the average price comes after so what I'm going to do to fix this, I'm going to pull this step below that average price. Now the problem here is now it's referencing the average price step, which is not what I want. I want it to reference the source. So again, I'm going to modify this formula and remove this reference and then just type in source. So now it's referencing the right step. Once I do that, now we've got that average, that 4.33 which is what I had in here, that's populated where I had those blank values. So I went from having null values here to now having the average. So I like this solution the best just because we're putting in an average, we're not getting rid of any data, and it's a lot lot cleaner to, to keep everything intact the way it is. And as you can see, it wasn't a really, really complicated process to do this. We just need to go calculate the Calculate the average, and again, you can use the median, you can use the average, the min, the max, whatever you think is most appropriate. You know, save that step in there, rename it to something easier, and then just use that replace value formula to reference that initial data, replace the null values with that average price, that average whatever, or median price, whatever you decide to, to set up. But doing it this way, you can replace it, you don't have to worry about zero values, and you've got a potentially better solution for your data set. So I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe. And, and thanks very much for watching.